Howdy y'all, Galator here. And today for Instance Quest Guide, we're going to be doing Black Fathom Deeps. Now Black Fathom Deeps, or BFD, is located here in Ashenvale, and recommended levels are between 23 and 28. However, again, if you are a tank or healer, I'd recommend holding off until about level 25. So as we normally do in these videos, I'm going to start out with Neutral, Alliance, Horde, and then class-specific quests. So let's jump right in. Now for neutral quests, there's only one for Black Fathom Deeps, but you don't get it until you're in the instance. So we're going to skip over that and start right with Alliance. Now for Alliance players, the first quest you can get is Knowledge in the Deeps. Uh, you're going to get this from Garrig Bonegrip, found in Iron Forge in the Forlorn Cavern. And what he wants you to do is to go collect Lorgalus's manuscript, which is found in the instance, and I'll show you where that is in a little bit. And for this quest, you will get a ring. Now the second quest you can pick up is called The Corruption Abroad. This quest is optional, it's a pointer quest, but you might as well do it to get some of that free rep. You collect this quest from Argos Night Whisper, and all he wants you to do is go talk to his brother, Gershala Night Whisper, in Aberdeen. Upon completing this, you can now collect the third quest, which is Researching the Corruption from Gershala Night Whisper. Now, all you have to do for this is get eight corrupted brain stems. These drop from the Naga and Satyrs located within the instance. And for completing that, you will get either back or male wrists. The fourth and final quest for the Alliance, you get from Argent Guard Morodos in Darnassus in the Alchemist Shop, located here on the map. For this quest, you have to collect 10 Twilight Pennants. These will drop from Cultists within the instance. And when you turn it in, you'll either get a leather belt or cloth feet. For the Horde, the first quest you can pick up is also optional. It's a pointer quest, but again, gives you free rep. And it's called Trouble in the Deeps. Now you're going to pick up this quest from Tsunamen in Stone Talon Mountains, located here on the map. What they want you to do is go find Genua Sankria, located at Zorimgar Outpost, here on the map, and turn it in. Now after you turn in this quest, you're going to accept the Essence of Akumai. Now this is going to have you go to the entrance of the instance, not inside, and collect 20 Sapphires of Akumai, which are going to be lining the cave walls. While you're there, make sure you are killing Tide Priestesses, because they're going to drop a damp note. Now after you collect this damp note, it's going to have you return to Genua Sankria at Zoramgar Outpost, who is now going to give you the quest Allegiance to the Old Gods. This is going to be kill Lorgus Jet within the instance, and it will reward you a ring or a cloth shoulders. Now while you're returning to turn in allegiance to the old gods, you're also going to want to turn in the essence of Akumai, because this will open up the quest Among the Ruins. This requests that you retrieve the Fathom Core, located at the bottom of the lake within the instance, and upon doing this, you will have to fight Baron Aquinas. Now Baron Aquinas will drop a strange water globe, which you will then return to Juno in order to get either an offhand or a one-handed blue sword. Now shifting to class specific quests, for paladins you should be at the end of the test of righteousness if you've been watching my previous videos. So the last piece you need to complete it is a corrupted core gem, which will drop from any of the naga within the instance. After you get that gem, and if you followed all my other guides, you can turn it back in for a blue two-handed mace. Now for Warlocks, this is also the last regent you need to complete the Orb of Sauron Rook. Now inside the instance, you'll have to get three Sauron Rook fragments. They will drop from any of the Twilight Cultists. And when you turn this back in in the Barrens, you will either get an offhand or a staff. You now have all the quests you need to begin the instance. So here's where it's located on the map, and here's a little fast run through of how to find the instance portal.
All right, so now that you're in the instance, just make sure that if you're Alliance, you're killing some of the Naga as you're running through to collect the Corrupted Brain Stems, or if you're a Paladin and you're looking for those Core Gem Fragments. Now, as you enter the instance, once you get to the large room with the turtle, under the water you're going to see a chest. This contains the Lorigus Manuscript, if you're Alliance. And in the same chamber, you're going to find Argent Guard Thaldred. Now, he's going to give you the quest Black Fathom Villainy, which is to kill Kelris later in the instance. Now, as you continue, you're now going to come across Largus in a little nook, so if you're Horde, be sure to stop to kill him. And then you're going to enter the Cultist Chamber. Now, if you're an Alliance or Warlock, be sure to kill the Cultists for either their Penance or Sauron Ruck Fragments. Now, under the water, in the Cultist Chamber, is the Fathom Core. So if you're Horde, make sure to go under the water, clear surrounding mobs, and click the core. This will loot it for the quest, as well as summon an aqueous elemental that you're going to kill to turn back in. Now, right after the cultist's chamber, you're going to find Kelris, kill him to complete Black Fathom Villainry. All right, everybody, so you've now completed every quest in Black Fathom Deeps. Hope you enjoyed the guide. More to come in the future. Like and subscribe, and until next time, au revoir.